Tintoretto is quickly becoming one of my favorite Venetian artists. Me too. His works are amazing in person. We're looking at a large painting by Tintoretto called The Miracle of the Slave. It's a painting that is full of energy, full of color. Full of dramatic action. It's a great story. This was painted for the Scuola Grande de San Marco. This was a major confraternity or a kind of club in Venice. And they commissioned altarpieces, they commissioned paintings, and they were very active in charity and the civic life of Venice. And in this case, they commissioned the young artist Tintoretto to create a series of four canvases. This was meant to hang directly opposite the altar. In the home of their confraternity. That's right. So this was not a church. This was really more of a civic organization. Nevertheless, this is a painting that is absolutely tied to the city of Venice, whose patron saint is St. Mark. And here we have St. Mark performing a miracle. So let's tell the story. St. Mark is long dead. A man wants to visit Venice, specifically to visit the Basilica of San Marco, where the relic that is the body of St. Mark resides. But his master says no. He goes anyway. And when he's there, he devotes his entire body, his soul, to St. Mark. He returns, and as punishment, the master orders that he have his eyes gouged out. The master says, not even St. Mark can save you now. But the servant responds, I have given my body to St. Mark. I am not afraid. But the instruments break. Not satisfied with this as a miracle. The ma-